Hello budget people and welcome back to the channel. My name is She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be doing my third cash stuffing for the month of April. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. I do hope you are all well. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet another video. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos. But guys, we are back for another cash envelope stuffing. It definitely feels like it's been a long time coming. I have been delaying, delaying, delaying filming this video and it nearly turned into a double stuff, but I have managed to find time to film it now. So, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Okay guys, so first and foremost, let's come in and lay down my expense stickers. We've got a lot to lay down. I don't know guys, you may be wondering what happens when I don't actually stuff money. So how do I live? What do I use to pay for bills or spending money, what have you? And to be honest, what usually happens is that I end up spending more money using my card, which is not good. So if you do see me doing a lot of double cash stuffing, it usually is a sign that I am not organized and that things have just got in the way, life has just got in the way. Although it may be nice to see it from a cash stuffing perspective, like me, me doing A double stuff, in terms of how it impacts the budget, it really isn't good. So yeah, I do try to do this weekly just so that I'm on top of the money that's coming in and also, um, you know, I'm able to take out the money that I need to take out weekly and that seems to work for me. So we're going back all the way to the 11th of April because that was the last time we laid down an expense sticker and I used the bus for the first time on the 11th um, and it cost me 10 pounds. I used it to go to tuition, um, to my tuition session that I had. On the 12th, I went to get my hair done guys, but I did have to book a dentist appointment which for a checkup, they asked for that money in advance. So it was 65 pounds, 65 pounds for me to book a dentist appointment because I had to pay in advance. And gosh, the dentist is a whole drama in itself, guys. I am actually making a vlog about it. So do stay tuned for that. Um, but as I said, I went down to London and I got my hair done. Thanks to Ellie, she um, took me down, guys, by car. So I didn't have to get the bus on that day. Um, I also went into Asda on that day and I spent um, 21.75. I think I got a few bits for the meal planner club that evening that I used. So that was really all that I did for that week. So the Tuesday and Wednesday, I think Thursday, I really just spent the day at home. I didn't go anywhere. And Friday, more of the same, to be honest. The next time I spent money was on the 16th, which was a Sunday. Um, I used some money out of my gifts and celebrations envelope for Tyrese. It was his birthday, guys, on the 16th. I have made a vlog about it, so do check that out. So I bought some balloons from m and I bought his cake and I bought a few other bits. I did have a voucher, so it was actually more than £30, but um, I had a voucher for m and which is why I went there. On the 17th, I spent £7.75 at the co-op and I think... Most of that is from the strawberries that I bought. Um, I was a bit upset about receiving, anyway, I won't even tell you. I'm not gonna tell you too much because I want you to really watch the vlogs. They are budget orientated as well. It isn't just about me. Um, so that was on the 17th. On the 17th as well, I also went and got some gas and electric on that day. So I put um, 40 pounds on the electric and I put 80 pounds um, on the, gas because I had two lots of money in that envelope if you remember rightly the last time I stuffed I had two lots of 40 pounds I just put both of them on there um just to make it a little bit easier they look a bit wonky those stickers then on the 18th I went to tuition again I used my son's car this time did I no I didn't I took the bus um and I had my bus ticket as the next expense sticker. I also went to Primark and I bought myself a bunch of stuff, guys. I bought myself a bunch of um, bits and bobs. So pajamas, etc., etc. 
So I used the bus on that day. Um, the next day though, I went to the dentist and I um, I put petrol in my son's, well, I didn't put it in his car. I just gave him a tenner for using his car that day. Um, so I went to the dentist on the 10th and that was the 65 pounds that I paid for that appointment. So that was that day. Did I use the bus? I think I used the bus, guys. Again, on, sorry, on this day. I think I used the bus. After I used the car, I think I used the bus. I don't know why, I don't know where I went. I'd need to look back on the video footage to see what I did, why I actually used the bus on that day. And then the next day I went to the dentist again. Oh gosh, don't even go there. Guys, it's a whole saga, I'm telling you. This whole dentist thing is a saga. And I spent 120 pounds, guys, for that appointment. Oh my gosh. I tell you, this week was so expensive. And the last expense sticker I have was on Friday, which was for £10, which was for parent pay. So um, I put some money on Nevaeh's thumb for some school food. Yeah, that is it. I've spent a lot of money this month, guys. Seriously, it's been absolutely crazy. But yeah, those are all of my expense stickers. We'll come in and do a full like closing down of the budget at the end of the month. Okay, so I thought I'd use my tablet for this week's budget just because I haven't used it for a while, but for full transparency reasons, I ran out of budget sheets for April. So anyway, we haven't got any more. I don't know what to say. We haven't got any more. So I am going to use the budget sheet from um, here. I've already filled in the budget sheet. So I'm gonna zoom in nice and big for you to see this first section, which are my fixed expenses. I've already put them down. So groceries, as usual, is going to get 70 pounds this week. Household, we are not actually adding any money to our household budget this week because I put £60 in there at the beginning of the month and that has already been spent. Um, spending money, we are putting in £20 this week. Hair and Beauty is going to get 10 I think that envelope is totally empty now, guys, because I when I got my hair done last week and I got my nails done as well, which has taken me right over. Um, gifts and celebrations, I'm adding 10 because that too is empty now after Tyrese's birthday. Um, electric is going to get 40 and gas is going to get 40. To be honest, I don't even really need to put the 40 pounds in gas because I've put 80 pounds in there at the beginning of the week, guys, and it's going to last a long time. But I'm going to just keep putting it in there because, you know, if we're in credit by the end of the year, then that's good, isn't it? Because we're going to be going into winter and probably another horrible one. My tithe is back here and I'll add that to my tithe envelope when I do my stuff in. And then rent is due this week, which is £1,050. So I'm just going to use my calculator to add this all up. And in total, it comes to £1,240. And that's all done, guys. That's all done for fixed expenses. Moving on up to variable expenses. So we have our sinking funds slash challenges in this section. And I've got my children. They are each getting five this week. So five for Nevaeh, Jade and Tyrese. My clothes envelope is going to get 20. As I said to you, I did spend some money from Primark. But when we get to the envelope, you'll see, guys, I didn't take any money out of that. I told you guys I've been really naughty I've used a lot of money off my card and I really do need to um quit I need to quit doing that um because it isn't good I may put some of that money back in the bank I'm not sure I probably won't though just to be honest I will just probably you know mark it off as a bad month and keep it pushing but yeah I should really take out some of that money from my clothes envelope I'll count it up and see what I have and then make a decision there but we are adding 20 pounds to it my Bible challenge, we are adding five because I managed to read the book of Joshua. So that is another five pounds going into my Bible challenge. As you may or may not know, I am going to be giving that money away, um, donating that money to a good cause at the end of the challenge. So it's always nice for me to put money towards that challenge because I know it's going to go to a good cause. And then Penny Challenge is going to get £20. Um, that's the usual amount that I put in there two so let's do it a roundup so we've got 15 pounds going to the children 20 add 5 add 20 so that's 60 pounds going to our variable expenses 
and that's all done. Next, we are going to go to savings and the only saving I have is my cash emergency fund. I think I budgeted £100 for it this month. So I'm adding another £25 to that emergency fund. And then if I scroll down to here, we only have debt for this week, which is £20. So that goes in there. Let's do our breakdown. So in terms of our income, we'll put that in at the end. We've got £1,240 worth of fixed expenses this week. So we've got quite a bit. Variable expenses, we only have £60 this week. Savings, we have 25 we don't have any investments. I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to change that and put to a blue line. Debt payment, we are going to be adding 20. Like that. And then I'll do my totals at the end. But yeah, guys, that is my budget all done. Okay, guys, starting with my mini cash envelope binder. The first envelope I have is household. Household is not going to get any money this week because as you know, we stuff that once a month and we've spent that money already. Electric is next. Electric is going to get 40 pounds. So I've got two 20s going in here. And that's all done. Gas is going to get 40 as well. So two 20s again folded up will be going in here like that groceries is next grocery is going to get 70 pounds i'm going to do my 50 and my 20 like this and that will go inside of here like that and then we have spending money Spending money is going to get 20 as well. I'm going to take 120 for that. And I'm going to put that inside of my spending envelope. Just like that. And then my next envelope is Hair and Beauty. Hair and Beauty is going to get £10. So I'm going to take 110 and fold it and put it in here. As I said, it's totally empty because we used the money from there last week. And gifts and celebrations is going to also get £10 because it is empty too. And that is going to go inside there like that. And yeah, that is all done. Next, we are on to my sinking funds. So I'm going to start with... Nevaeh's envelope first of all. Nevaeh is going to get five pounds this week. So I'm going to take out the money she has Ooh. and add a five. So we currently have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 25, 30. So we've got 130 pounds in here for Nevaeh. And that's all done. Tyrese is next. Tyrese's envelope is totally empty because we are starting again for his birthday next year. I'm just going to take one fiver and I'm going to add it into his envelope like that. Jada is next. Jada is going to get five as well. Take out a five and count what she has. 10, 20, 35. Her birthday was in February, so... That is why she has the least, well, yeah, the least at the moment. No, not the least. Tyrese has the least, but she's got, you know, second least. <laughs> and then clothes is next. My clothes envelope, we are going to be adding £20. As I said, I wasn't sure what I had in here, guys. Let's do a quick cash count. We've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 35. We've got 135 pounds. I should take out some, you know, and put it back in the bank. <sighs> Shall I take out the 80? What will I be left with? If I take out 80 to replace that money back, we'll be left with 
55. Shall I do it? Shall I do it? Yes, I am. If you spend the money, you need to put it back. And that's just as simple as it goes. So we've got 20, 40, 55. Sometimes it hurts, guys. It really does. But, you know, teach me for buying stuff on the whim. I really didn't plan to buy any pyjamas. But, I mean, it wasn't just for me. It was for Nevaeh as well. But, yeah, sometimes poor planning leads to poor decisions. So, yeah, we need to take the money out and put that back in the bank because it isn't ours. Okay, next we are on to our bible challenge so i'm going to get my sharpie and i'm going to cross off the book of joshua which is all the way up the top here where are we here which is brilliant so i've crossed that off and um i'm on to judges at the moment guys i'm about halfway through judges so i'm hoping i finish that by the end of the week as well um but yeah that is that let me add my fiver to this money so we've got £20 in here now, which is really cool. And then we've got our um, penny savings challenge. So I'm going to cross off the next, oh, it's probably more than seven. I think it's probably about 10, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think it's 12 days, guys. 12 days. I mean, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah. Ugh. I've got a feeling that it's probably more than £20 this week, but I'm still going to put the £20 in there. I'm still going to do it. Until I get down to the ones, I'm still going to overstuff. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 35. So we have 435 pounds in our penny savings challenge, which is brilliant. And then we have my cash e-fund here, which is going to get the 25 pounds that is here. Let's add it to the money inside. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85 pounds so far in our cash emergency fund. It's more than I thought would be in here actually, but it doesn't matter. Um, the money from here, I withdraw every month and put it in the bank, guys. This is just to help me save my emergency fund because if I don't start it off in cash, it just doesn't get done. Um, so, yeah, I think I said I was going to put £25 a week um, this month, which I have done, but I don't know why I've got 85 in there. Maybe I started with 10 I don't know. Anyway, cash e-fund is done. Oh, yeah, I added an extra £10 last week, didn't I, for my car envelope. That's why. That's why we did £35 last time. OK, that's done. And then the money that is here, I'm going to add to my tithe envelope, which is stacking up really good for me to return that at the end of the month. But yeah, guys, that is all done. Hey, everyone, it's Nevaeh. And today we're back for another cash stuffing video. I'm actually getting very used to this, guys. I'm getting used to the whole intro. So, I've done something a bit bad. I will admit it. Um, I spent my pocket money, guys. But, no one's stressed. Because we've also done a good thing. And done one of my extra money chores kind of things. So, I've got £10 from giving Harley a little bit of a groom. So, that is what I'm going to be putting into my box. money in there that side right let's put it in the binder so 
10 pounds. I think we're just gonna put it in. Let's put some in our savings. So five pounds in our savings. And then five pound in phone. There's so many iPhones that's coming out. It's just actually hard to keep up with at this point. Right, so that is that. I don't think I'm gonna cash off any of these coins just because it just seems silly to me. So we're gonna get the deposit box all locked up. And yeah, so what we've learned guys is to not spend our pocket money because then we don't have any money cashed off for this video which is not good because i'm sure you guys love my videos so yeah that's our another cash stuff done this week okay guys so that is all for now i do hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please not forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already please not forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my future videos and i'll speak to you in the next one bye guys